right, I'm gonna be showing you guys the home gym. The last home gym video was in February of 2015. It is now January of 2016. And just so you guys know, I'm not rich. I work two jobs. All right, first thing we got is the hyper extension. We have a weight scale, a little push vacuum, the power tower. Nice thing about this one is uh, you can do inclined sit-ups. There's the uh, sit-up uh, bench on the wall. And over here we got the seated calf raise. And right here we have the uh, mirrors, uh, the best friends wall. Originally, see the idea with this was that it was just Arnold and Franco, but then it just kind of spread out. So, <laughs> all right. And the reason for the CD calf raise, because you'd be like, why would you waste your money on a CD calf raise machine? And the reason is I can do standing calf raises without a machine. So, and the only difficulty that it had was doing seated calf raises. So, and this just made it a hundred times easier. And that's the reason for buying it. And actually over here, we have the treadmill. And up there we have the uh, bookshelf. All right, and then here's my tricep bar and my weights. Here are the clips. And right here, this is actually an old gripper. And a really old gripper that I have up here is on the wall that doesn't get used. And the reason for not using it is because it's that old. I think it's like 30 years old. And then here are my, you know, the ones that you get from Walmart are Goodwill grippers. And this is a grip tester. Then here are the heavy grips. And then here's a forearm and wrist developer. And down here we have the, uh, the bendable bars. I'm not too sure what their name is. And then we have the uh, weighted dip belt. There's a bunch of clips in the whole shebang, all right. We have my hex bar. Uh, right there we have the arm blasters. Those are just some of like the cleaning stuff, like the Clorox wipes, the disinfectant spray, and then the manuals, the whole shebang down there. And these are my attachments for the machines. Here's some more attachments for the machines, right there. And then these are the supplements that I take. All right, and then this is the Freemotion 1020SY dual station. Actually, a funny story behind this. Uh, the original price, I think it was like 2000 That's what it was in the store for, but it was the showroom floor model. So actually, it was for $500 because it was the last one they had. It was the showroom floor model, and it was $100 off because it was the floor room model. So then it dropped down to $400, and then when we got to the register, it was actually another $100 off. So I got this whole thing for $300. Very great piece of equipment. Unbelievably great. And we have my foam rollers, and down here we have the power hooks, my sit-up mat that I rarely ever use, and my uh, medicine ball. And here's the standing calf block like I was talking about. And then we have the weighted vest. And then here are my bars. Uh, actually, believe it or not, this is actually a gun rack that I bought from Goodwill for just five bucks. Really good condition and everything. And then this just holds some of my stuff, you know, the gloves, the fat grips, and the uh, bar pad and the wraps, the whole shebang. And then we got the whiteboard. And these actually are so I can do face pulls. My grandpa made this on his CNC. So I'll show you how it works. You put it on like this, and then you can stand on it. And what I mean by face pulls is then you hook the rope up to right here, and then you can pull them towards your face. And then we have my uh, uh, back belts, my lifting belts. And then grandpa made this on the CNC too. And this is just some of the diagrams of the whole bowl. And that's the lifting. I'm about to start lifting here starting uh, February 1st. And then this is for the abs. And then this is for the forearms. This is actually a gripper machine. And actually you might notice that I have quite a bit of grip stuff. Like for instance up here too, I do also have a fat bar. I take grip training very, very seriously. I know a lot of people lack in grip training, but I think my grip strength right now is as it was at like a, 
what was the last time I did it? I think it was at like 237 pounds. So I can't quite close the 250 pounds on the heavy grips, but I can close the 200 one. And then right here, this beauty right here, it's the power rack. And if you notice from the last video, I had the Gold's Gym rack. That was nice, but I always wanted to upgrade to a power rack. I got this off of Amazon for $300. Really good deal. The reason for why I bought it too was because of the numbers. I noticed a lot of other racks, more expensive racks too, like $500 to $1,000, didn't have numbers on them. And this one was only $300. That's including shipping. And it comes with numbers, so... And then back here, and this is actually the bench off of the Gold's Gym Rack. And down here, we have my fraction plate. So you got, you know, you got the white one is the quarter pound, the green one is a uh, half a pound, the blue one is uh, three quarters, and then the red one is uh, one pound. All right. And then over here, here are the dumbbells. We have, uh, what is it? <laughs> one pound through 50 pounds. And, and then this is my Blu-ray player that I just picked up from Goodwill for 25 bucks. So that was a really good deal on that. It's got the whole USB hookup, the whole shebang, the SD card, the whole thing. Then there's the mounted TV. So yes, this is my 2016 January uh, review of my home gym.